Thinking about racism has been interesting in the 24 hours since I created the first video and I've gotten some good response and the angry man channel has gotten back to me and I wanted to respond to him but I also just wanted to respond to the basic reason why it's important that I make these videos about racism. Um, the problem of racism is that it creates the opportunity for people to justify their anger and or their hate hatred. Now my concern and the videos that I will link below have to do with the responses to my original video and it basically my response to them is this. There are stereotypes and then there's racism. The stereotypes will exist without racism but with racism we make the stereotypes worse. Racism hurts everyone. White racism hurts white people. Black racism hurts black people. When we justify our anger, we're not taking responsibility or we're not acting upon the things we can actually change. We may not be able to immediately change stereotypes, but it's not because of racism, or at least it's not because of someone else's racism. It's usually because of our own racism that we're not strong enough to fight it. Me not making these videos would be a form of racism because I'm saying, well, it's not my problem. It's the problem of black people. No, it's my problem. Because when we walk down the street, when we meet eye to eye, it should be one of mutual respect, not one of fear, not one of um, hatred. And that's why the conversation between those that feel this way, feel that they have a right to be angry or they they can't be racist my point isn't to put people down for having feelings if you have anger if you have frustration these are real feelings and these are feelings you need to talk about and why you feel this way only with conversation will we undermine the problems of racism now I'm drawing parallels between sexism and racism because the logic is very similar in terms of what I see in the black movements quote-unquote because I don't like it it's not really a black movement I, and I don't like black movement. it's about equality movements in terms of getting over the racial stereotypes and, and we do need to get over the racial stereotypes um, but justifying racism or saying, well, we have these stereotypes that undermine our ability to succeed in life. To a certain extent, yes, a stereotype will undermine you, but we can break free of our stereotypes if we take responsibility for what we can do. And we work hard not to be the one perpetuating that stereotype. And unfortunately, I feel black racism does just that. It helps perpetuate the stereotypes because what it creates is animosity between races because you're othering and this is a sexist term you're othering another group and that just creates dividing lines and this is really what we're trying to do um, I know the men's rights movement is trying to do and I know the anti-feminist movement is trying to do is to stop the othering I'm not denying the existence of stereotypes quite the opposite but I am saying that racism, in terms of hating someone or justifying your anger because of another racial group, is a problem. And that's the ultimate problem of racism. Now, I will probably regret this video at some point, but uh, right now I think the conversation is more important that it keeps going. I have reached out to the people that have been recommended and I appreciate all the comments on the other video but I won't really get a chance to respond in a way that I'd like to until uh, Monday or Tuesday so I wanted to get this video out before then and so that's why I'm sort of just putting it there anyways thanks for watching and I have enjoyed this conversation so far and uh, keep up with the conversation and please send me any links that you think would be relevant to the conversation and thanks again for watching Bye.